Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored. Definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just thank you for being you. Being able to walk around in your true path and your true self is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also if you're comfortable enough I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me so drop me a few lines even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also um, if you feel like the video is very informative to you and it, you know and gives you good information and good vibes and you want to share that with the loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some really hard times right now and trying to find confirmation and validation towards their life path or even their sole purpose please go ahead and share it while you're at it go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit once again thank you so much for the love and support and I hope you're able to resonate with content in my video and my um my meditation music is called deep soothing relaxing music for stress anxiety relief peaceful meditation healing music and i will post that link in the description box below and the video i'm doing today um is is called Hayoka's twin or oh, twin flame 101 Hayoka's life has no meaning life is an uh, opportunity to create a meaning that was really I mean that's I mean that took me aback right there I'm like that's what I'm talking about because I was on my own um, one of my my positive uh, Facebook groups that was talking about that that's why I told y'all a lot of times I get my my you know my thumbnails from you know and it was just like certain things will be highlighted towards me that you know I can really relate to and or really be a good topic to talk about so it's just like we it's crazy how we can walk around you know being at dead dead end jobs or even being at a job that you you know you you complain about each and every day you know I'm thinking to yourself my life has more meaning to it than all this crazy riffraff that's going around that's when we go through our spiritual awakening you know we've been living blind and truth for so long ignorant towards our true selves you know because it's like whatever gifts we have is probably gonna sh you know showed itself every once in a while you know you try to wonder why do people come up and tell me about this why did you know why do people feel like i'm that person that, that go-to person i always used to go through stuff like that where people would tell me certain things about their life and it would be held and confident and they always felt comfortable with telling me that and it was so many people saying you know Rosalind I always love talking to you you never judged me for anything or you never placed any you know never placed anything on me that truly didn't need to be there that's why I always come to you about things that I'm dealing with I always tell people shoot everybody got a past you know as long as you know you are learn your mistakes from the things that you did in your past what what you did back then is why you here right now you know, you can't sit up here and allow yourself to keep going through that certain situation. You know, if, if it was something bad that you know you shouldn't have done and you change that for the better, that makes you a better person. You are not what you, you know, what people placed upon you or you are not what you used to be. You know, it's up to you to make true meaning out of your life. You know, I was going through my hell and hot water. I was like attacked all the time. I had it coming from every direction. And I was just like, I know this ain't all what my life is supposed to be about and I know you're probably going through your life as well and saying this is not what my life is supposed to be back in, about it has a deeper meaning you know what is my purpose let me find my purpose and that's a blessing to me because it's like I went through my stuff growing up and always like I told y'all before if you've been with me for a while let me turn that down a little bit uh when you've been with me for a while you know um you have heard me say, you know, since I was a little girl, I always wanted to help the world some kind of way, be happy, feel love, be never be misunderstood, but being able to know yourself, you know, um, dealing with the things are head on, you know, 
And it's just like we had to understand, put meaning towards our lives, ourselves. You know, people place things on you and saying this is how you lived your life. Or, you know, you probably heard you are never going to amount to anything if you keep doing the things you're doing. You know, I've had I heard that my whole life, you know, because it was like I was a little renegade when I was I was bad as hell. <laughs> and it was like, you know, reading about the things that my dad did. I'm like, gosh, the apple did not fall far from the tree. You know, I used to do what I wanted to do. You know, um, live free, just didn't care. You know, I used to do some, you know, uh, adrenaline rush type stuff when I was younger. You know, I got shot at a couple of times. You know, I broke entries. You know, little crazy things I shouldn't have done that I'm not really proud of that I did back in the day. I would dare not to do now. But it's like I learned from those mistakes, you know, being able to help people. I found out, you know, this is what I had to go through. I had to go through my trials and tribulations. And then on top of it being a celebrity child, that you really went through things. And it was like for me to have that courage and open up and tell my life story to other people to allow them to know we have been placed in certain cir circumstances, but that don't mean you need to stay in those cir 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 uh, certain circumstances. That's just too much. You know, going through those different things. To be able to know that your life goes beyond that. You know, you had to be, have these things placed on you. Because like I said, you were already pre-signed about this situation beforehand. <laughs> you said, you know, it was just like, okay, sign me up. You put me there when you put me there. And then when you get here, you're like, what the hell was I thinking? You put me in this 3D stuff. And I got to, you know, decode this and answer this and try to figure out what you're talking about. Making a living in a place I really don't understand. And then when you finally come to that, uh, that, that, you know, that crazy trauma. And then you finding out, you know, they don't waken yourself. You know, and then it's just like, I can't be doing the things that I used to do. What is this? You can't undo what they have already done. You know, now it's like you, you're you awake and now you're starting to see things for what they truly are. You're like, okay, now what? <laughs> you know, like, now what? What do I have to do with my life? Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to be? You know, you go through all those different questions. And it's just like when me going through the incidences that I have been through, being able to tell people my life story, being able to help people make sense of the things that they go through. Because like I told y'all before, but I know there's a lot of people that are just now starting to uh, subscribe to me. I didn't have a guide, <laughs> a physical guide to go through and say, hey, Rosalind, you're going through this and this and this and this and that. You know, but it's going to be okay. You're going to go through these bumps in the roads, but it's going to enhance your gifts. It's going gonna, it's gonna to allow you to love people beyond every measure. Being able to see people for what they truly are, you know, seeing the things that they went through, being able to help them, guide them, you know, answer the questions. You know, I didn't have all that. You know, I had, you know, I was blessed to have my dad that guided me towards certain things. My mom, you know, all these people that have passed on helping me, guide me toward these certain things in my life that I truly need to learn about, about myself as well as in the world. You know, being able to put meaning towards my life and say, you know what, what I'm doing is very interesting. I love what I do. I love when y'all come call me, you know, either call me, email me, Rosalind, I'm going through this. And can you can you make sense of this stuff I'm going through? And that, that was like my worst fear, like somebody going to come up to me and I ain't going to know what the hell to tell them. But it's just like, thank God from, you know, for the whole creator. When people come towards me, I'm like, hey, I got it. I can help them with this. I can put meaning to it. And then it's just like being able to do that along with seeing their past lives, seeing the things that they went through. And I'm just like, wow, you're a what, 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 what? And they're like, hold up, wait a minute. And I said, well, you'll know you are because you had to go through this, 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 and that. And it'll give them chills like, oh, Rosalind, you know, I've been through this. How do you know? I'm like, hey, that's one of my gifts. I'm able to, you know, channel different things like that. Being able to be blessed to be able to see things that you had to go through knowing if you just give yourself that chance you can create your own life create it the way you want to your life has been altered you know your life has been you know blinding towards you doing things that you really didn't want to do anymore and it's just like after that spiritual awakening you can no longer see things through that 3d world at times it might bring you back there <laughs> you know because ego is like wait a minute hold the hell up you're trying to change wait a minute we can't do this you know because doing change for a positive movement for yourself that's a lot 
<laughs> that is a lot to deal with so it's like ego will try to send you back to your old life having you do things the old way you can't do that having you heal the way you used to you can't do that you know like i told y'all before you know i stopped smoking like last year on my birthday i went back and smoked again you know not because i felt like i because honestly i can say i didn't feel like i fell off the wagon i was just like you know what i don't want to be like a school mom on my birthday allow myself to you know have me a little drink have me a little smoke and i'm just like the hell am i doing this ain't even me no more i can't function <laughs> you know make me paranoid about everything i can't do this you know i used to be a functioning weed head you know being able to get towards my higher self being my higher self and now i'm just like i've learned for for a while now to be able to channel that without having to use a stimulant to get me there because i really felt like i thought i needed to do that now mind you if anybody else smoke i don't i don't doubt them they're like rosalyn do you feel like i need to stop smoking now if you know you need to ask me that question you already know the answer you know you only can use that you know source and universe and creator and them allow you to have that gateway for you to be able to use that for that you know what i'm saying because that's a lot to put on a person for you to be okay well i accept this you know when you actually see your mystical side and know what you were truly here placed on this earth to do that's not i mean i ain't gonna sit well with a lot of people especially if you know you have a drink and have it you got a pill pop and have it this and this and that but things will tend to start jacking up in your life when you know okay let me stop doing this i i couldn't you know when i try i smoked my birthday and the day after my birthday and it was just like you know what this is not you anymore you can't go back to this life you know they they placed that into your life because that was a lot for them to put on you for you to be able to be sober like yeah okay i'm who's whose daughter oh okay you know even though i thought we had a connection you know oh yeah that's just interesting no the heck it didn't sit well with me <laughs> it didn't i was like you know i thought i was gonna lose my mind find out all the things that i found out you know and dealing with that but it's just a blessing when i can sit up here and say a blessing for the love that i have for my father and my the love that i have you know for my mom and all of them you know they're you know no longer here or chose not to be in my presence i love that experience because it was able for me to help other people deal with not cope but deal with the things that have occurred into their life things to let you know even though the most craziest you know gutter butt things could have happened to you growing up as a child or even through your adulthood you will heal from these things they used me as that person to go through all these things to be able to project it out on you being that messenger to let people know hey things happen in our lives but we can grow and learn from those those dark situations you are not a product of what people try to put you in you know try to label you in this box is good for nothing you'll never get this you'll never get that you know they felt that way because they ruined their chance you know a lot of times people live through their children i don't seen it happen because they they messed around and didn't do the things that they were supposed to do growing up so they want to live through these people they can't do that you gotta live your life no matter how old you seem to be you can always have that chance to turn your life around it's up to you so if you know your life has deeper meaning find out what that deeper meaning is you know things so many things is coming at you that's trying to tell you you are a lot more than you give yourself credit for you are stronger than you realize there is more to you than meets the eye you know it's just a blessing when i don't see people as people i can see your true you know your true object whatever you are i see what you are past that human form that's what god blessed me with you know to be able to use that gift for the greater good to be able to help guide people for them being confused for so long like Rosalind you know I feel like I'm going crazy my world's falling apart when your world falls apart it's up to you to where how you want to be able to put it back together because that's the reason why we got to go through all these crazy shifts and awakenings and stuff like that because you were all your life was altered now they want you to give yourself that chance to put it together like you were supposed to put it so it's just like where you know there's life that has no meaning it's up to you to create that and that's what you're supposed to do so it's just like you keep doing you you keep finding out more about yourself you know we're walking blind in truth and you know, like i tell people you when you feel like you only got one gift baby <laughs> i trust and believe you got about four or five lined up they just ain't flipped that switch yet they want you to be able to learn this part first so the, the further you get down and you know you have confidence within yourself you know you know there's more out there you need to learn that's when more stuff will start popping off to you and you're like peeling back that 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 onion 
you there's more layers to you the, you know the more you open it up the stronger that smell is going to be you know so i'm not saying you're stinking or nothing like that <laughs> it might bring tears to your eyes like an onion but it's like the more layers you tend to cut away you'll start finding out more and more about yourself they'll you know kind of surprise you so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video um much love uh to lisa williams miss sassy sassy miss k uh miguel hurtado um let me figure out who else am i gonna say up to it's my journey as well so much love to you thumbs up like and subscribe drop me a line let me know if you resonate and you know send out as much love and like positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always more to towards your better days and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild